Gosnell is the face of abortion. Gosnell demonstrates that the so-called right to abortion is a right to a dead child. What's going on is there's a man in there, and he's an, he's an abortionist, and he's on 3801 Lancaster here in Philly, and he has actually killed numerous babies who have been born alive by snipping their spinal cords after they've been born. We want Philadelphia to know what is going on in their town, what is going on behind closed doors of that clinic. We're definitely you know at war, and it's a spiritual battle first. Uh, so we definitely uh, must start with prayer, but it absolutely does not end there. I mean. Prayers first, but we must do something also. He did horrible things and killed thousands of babies just in terrible, terrible ways and was so callous about it. And so I think it's a wake up call for our nation. Um, yes, there's mercy, but there's justice too. We are here to pray for justice. We are here to pray that these barbaric, Violent acts will come under the full light of justice. Where's the pro-choice movement? Why aren't they having a news conference here? Where are they? Gosnell demonstrates that all abortion hurts women and kills children. Uh, Gosnell is the face of abortion. Let me put it that Gosnell is the logic of abortion. Abortion says, you contracted with me, mother, for a dead child. So in Gosnell's mind, he was just fulfilling his contract. When these babies came out alive, he was just giving the, the mothers what they allegedly paid him for. So Gosnell demonstrates pro-choice logic that the so-called right to abortion is a right to a dead child. God created life for a purpose. That child wasn't a mistake. That child wasn't a mistake at all. That it's the evil one that is causing us to think that that person is a mistake when really in the eyes of God, that child is a blessing, that child is a gift from Him. America! America! America!